Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Strength Krillin, one of the banner units for the celebration and we're going to see just how good he is basically at 55%. Now Krillin's a unit I really really quite like. Uh, the thing about Krillin that I think is so great is he has a variety of versatility that he can bring to a team. Like he, he's got good flexibility, very similar to Demon King Piccolo in that sense, and also provides good support for categories that definitely need it to keep synergy and to keep themselves rolling. So with Krillin, he's got attack and defense of 150%. He also has an additional attack and defense of 100% when performing a super attack. His World Tournament category allies get key plus two and attack and defense of 40%. And you will get key plus two and plus an additional attack and defense of 150% and a high chance of performing a critical hit for four turns after receiving an attack. He reduces damage received by 20%. He reduces an additional damage reduction of 20% before attacking. And he gets an additional damage reduction of 20% when facing only one enemy. So Krillin can have 60% damage reduction before he attacks if facing only one enemy. He can provide 40% support to all allies of the World Tournament category allies. He can have 150% defense and another 150% defense and a high chance of critting and 100% attack and defense when firing his super attack. He also lowers enemy attack on his super. Krillin has Brainiacs, Turtle School, Infighter, Kamehameha, The Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and Fierce Battle as his links. And he's got World Tournament Kamehameha, Earthlings, Battle of the Wits, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, and Earth Red Fighters as his categories. Now Krillin is an exceptionally good unit, and you can raise his super attack by using the Prime Battle Krillin. So you have a decent chunk of options uh, to really make this unit work. Now he's not on a huge amount of categories, but he's a huge buff to pretty much all the categories he is on. Earthlings, he'll be great. A lot of them are World Tournament units. Earthbred Fighters, he has great synergy with the new Goku. Turtle School, same thing. Kamehameha, same thing. World Tournament, same thing. Bond of Friendship, same thing. Battle of Wits, same thing. He is just really, really solid, basically. Now, one thing about Krillin that I will admit uh, is he can be a tiny bit wonky at 55%. Just because of the base stats being so low, uh, you know, later on in things like Red Zone, especially if his four turn buff from being hit wears out, then he's not going to be in a super solid position defensively. Now, 60% damage reduction is a lot uh, before firing a super, so let's, you know, let's not kid around with that. That is incredibly good, uh, and he will be a very, very solid unit. I think the one super nice thing about Krillin is that he's a little bit flexible and that you don't need to play him as a first slot unit. You can, if you want to, of course. You could run him as a third slot. You could run him as a second slot, even. It really doesn't matter too much where you place Krillin. Uh, he will give you good results either way. Now, obviously, to get his full power, uh, he is basically, you know, like really, really, really like just solid um the only thing i really really well not really don't like but one thing i do really like about krillin uh, is he has at least by my estimates a relatively solid chance of being quite longevity longevity uh, lasting quite a while in the game the 60% damage reduction is good, but the World Tournament category support is really quite nice, uh, at least for me. And him having baked in crits means that you can build him full additional if you want to, uh, or you could continue to build him crit, or you could possibly build him evasion. Uh, him raising attack is not huge for the unit in general, like it's not crazy. By the way, just look at Krillin's attack stat here. 4.5 million, with a high chance to crit, I think we can consider that one really good. So yeah, um, the thing is, like, giving him additional doesn't do a crazy amount for Krillin. It doesn't elevate him to a huge new level. The double attack lowering is nice, I guess. Raising the attack is nice, but it's nothing crazy. He already has a high chance to crit for four turns. So additionally, with or doing an additional with that high chance to crit would net out to be more damage, of course. 
but you could build him evasion. Now you might say, yeah, but he wants to get hit so that he can get that additional attack and defense. This is also true, but evasion could help him in instances where he's floating and you don't want him to catch a super attack. All in all, I would probably build him additional with maybe a tiny bit in evasion and leave it at that. He doesn't need crit. Realistically speaking, especially since he's strength and his baseline already is crit. So for me, Krillin's pretty much an additional and dodge built unit. I think that gives him the best, you know, the absolute best kind of like build and functionality. So yeah, uh, Krillin overall though, great unit. Link skills, you know, they are what they are, uh, to be honest with you. He gets the two key for a reason and gives the support for a reason. He's on Brainiacs, it's a strong link, but not one you're gonna activate quite often. Turtle School, incredibly strong link, one you can get relatively often. In Fighters, not so bad. Kamehameha is not so bad. A lot of the Gokus and you know units from the DB Saga and that are starting to have In Fighter, which helps them out. The Incredible Adventure and Guidance of the Dragon Balls are great links, but just very DB, DB Saga you know, centered, and he's got Fierce Battle. So he doesn't link insanely with a lot of units, but he links well with units that matter. If that sounds like it makes no sense, it's because it kind of does. But he links really well with like Youth Goku, for example, both of them in 10 physical. He shares four links with uh, Jackie Chun and with the tech Goku that we just got, also the physical uh, TN into Yamcha. Uh, all of these units are gonna love running alongside Krillin even though some of them don't get the World Tournament support, but still very good. Then she has three links with some units like LR Master Roshi, uh, with the Strength you know, Goku from the World Tournament, and with Strength Max Power Master Roshi. So in general, just a lot of units are going to enjoy running with them. Uh, even the Piccolo Giant form shares three links with them, so kind of makes it work out. Krillin at the end of the day is just an incredibly strong unit who I think personally is just a fantastic banner unit. Yeah, I think he really is just exceptional and really, really good. And yeah, I honestly just really enjoy what he brings to the table. I think he's a fantastic unit that does an exceptional job supporting his team. The World Tournament category needed the support. Krillin's flexible enough to be run in the first, second or third slot, depending on how many dupes you have. And yeah, he's just a great unit. Just a great unit. But that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about Krillin. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.